GT Junior grows it. So I'm in my go grow garage and got a Baker Creek order. I've been waiting for this bad boy. Just because I don't have them. And when I get these, I just get excited. It's like, I have a chance to have food for the next day. You know, if you start now. So, let's see what we have here. Where's the paper? Where's the paper? Okay, so let's see what we have. Um, we're talking about this. Calendula. I think that's what it is. I have this. But this is Balls Improve Orange. Yeah. Three inch flowers in deep orange. People use this as a tasty garnish. Um, so, we're going to see what it do. So, I got a couple of herbs. I think those are things that we, we have moved away from a little bit too much. So, we have this horse heel. It's used for lung and other health issues. Why not grow it? Um, I can't remember how long it takes for it to uh, um, harvest, but I will put, maybe I'll do some research, and here we go. Um, and these medical herbs are herbs that are in my medical book. So I'm like, okay, well, why not buy it now? So this is a yarrow. And it's for cold. Its popular uses are cold, fevers, for and for healing wounds. So, yeah. And I think this is a humongous pepper. That's why I bought it. It's good for roasting. It's a stocky two-foot pepper. I mean, two-foot plant. Yeah. And it's covered in six to seven-inch fruit. Rich fives. Okay. That's all right. So we have here... Yoto red carrot. It has slender roots. It grow to 12 to 18 inches. Um, it must be planted in late fall, um, late summer, fall, or winter. Not, not, not for spring planting. Okay. You know, just like all carrots, they, they want light, fluffy soil, full sun, adequate moisture. You know how they always do. It's a sweet red type carrot. Yeah. And this one finally came in. I was waiting for it to hit uh, my email for them to let me know that it was back in stock. So here's this squash. It's five to 10 pounds. The golden flesh is smooth, dry, sweet, and rich. It's a teardrop shape. I thought maybe I had got it for its um, long shelf life as well. I'm not exactly sure. But it's just a quick um, seed haul. Some of the things I needed to put in my 2020 collection. Um, so the only thing that I'll be growing, um, you know, pretty soon is the coming in the horse heel. Yeah, I'll be growing these. Uh, and these right here are just stocked for the year after, or, you know, something like that, you know. Called being prepared. Being prepared, having the things that you need, and um, when you need it, have it. Not look for it. All right, then y'all have a good one. Peace. The times right now are a little different than before. So having a garden that runs 24/7 um, is something that I inspire to do, and it's been ongoing for a few years. So just this is my way of prepping as well you know having not just having the security of food stored away but having a supply that eventually will give you something of a harvest so that you can maintain so just food for thought